Welcome to our sixth and last lesson on our introductory and Python turtle tutorials. Um, so far we have learned how to do sequential programming, we have learned how to do loops, both for loops, so our counted loops, or our conditional loops, while loops. We learned how to do conditions and if statements. And the last thing we're going to do now is we're going to learn how to use Boolean. And Boolean logic is the whole thing that works with trues and false. So, as I said, Boolean logic starts with trues and false. A Boolean value, a variable, can either be either true or false. And if you type those into Python, you'll see they've got a nice little orange color there. And that tells you that these are a very special kind of value. So, what do they do? Well, it means that anything has a value of true or false. You can see when we tested our conditions, whether it be on the if statements or on the while statements, we'll say um, if, and you do a test, and then when we step through that in debugging, it'll actually take that test and change it down, um, test it, and give it either a true or false result. And there, then it will actually enter into the condition if it's true, and if not, if it's false, it will actually not enter into that condition. So, thing is, you can actually do a whole lot of different stuff with our Boolean. It actually has two different things. We have Boolean comparisons, and we also have Boolean um, operators. So first off, we'll talk about Boolean, um, Boolean um, comparisons. Now, we've already met one. We already come across this particular comparison here, which checks whether two values are the same value. So I'm going to press play here, and down the bottom here, what do you reckon is going to actually print out down the bottom when I do that? I press play, and it's going to print out true. Because, yes, it is true um, that Jeff does equal Jeff. But there's other ones that we can actually do. And I'm just going to bring some other ones in here as well, too. So we also have this symbol here, which is not equals to. So if one is not equal to one, what do you think the response is going to be there? This is greater than, remember, with... Greater than and less than, the bigger side always, the mouth always goes towards the bigger side. So this is asking, is 500 bigger than 300? This one is saying, is 100 greater than or equal to? So it can be either one, um, 250. This is asking whether the letter A is less than the letter Q. Right? And now this one is asking whether negative 30 is less than or equal to 3. So if I run that, just run through and what do you reckon the actual results are going to be? So we say true here, and then just predict what is the other one, two, three, four, five. So just hold them in your head, and I'm going to run it and see if you're correct. So we are. So this one is true. Then we have false. We have a true. And that one's false. And that one's true, and that one's true here. What it actually happens is that it changes the character into the um, into the ASCII number and then says, is the ASCII number less or greater than? So you can actually sort and check out the values um, of the characters. Right here. So that's the, that's the comparators. What's more is it's important to understand too that it isn't, these are literals. You can see these are actual values that we've put in, but we can also use variables to um, in um, dealing with Boolean comparisons. So if I say the score here is 100, then I can say is print, oh sorry, score equals 10. If I say print is score greater than 5, I'm actually comparing a literal to a variable. And it will give me the result of saying, yep, that's true because 10 is greater than 5. If I change that down to 2 and run it, it's going to say false. Okay, so that's the first thing about Boolean um, um, logic is actual Boolean comparators or the um, comparison operators. So, what other Boolean operator we have is like doing a, a calculation with Boolean values. And there's three of them. It's and, or, and not. So, let's have a look at some of these. First off, I'm going to look at the not operator. So, I'm going to come into here. Radio. So, <sighs> Boolean operators actually do a calculation on Boolean values. So they work with a true and false values and calculate on them. So if you've got a, a um, comparator that you do, is Jeff equals Jeff, that will get work calculated down to true. 
and then you can do another calculation by using these particular operators. So not changes the value of true to false and not will then change the value of false to true. So basically it just reverses the actual operator from being true to false. So what do you reckon that the results are going to be for this? Just have a think and see. Yep, so not true is false and not false is true. Okay, now the next one gets a little bit trickier. We've got the next two, the and and or are kind of like opposites of each other. So let's have a look. And print a true and true is false. Now the basic thing about the and is that for and to return true, for this to be calculated down to a Boolean value, all of the other values within this and statement need to also be true. So if we run this, we can see here that true and true, this is true. They're both true, so therefore it returns true. If you have just one false in the calculation, then it will return false. And that goes for any number of them in the calculation. So we've got true, true, and true will return true, whereas true, true, and false will return false because there's just one false in there. So that is our and calculator. Uh, and operator. The next one is the OR operator, which is the kind of opposite to the AND. So this one is basically if only, even if just one of the values is true, then it will return true. So we can see here, true or true will be true. True or false will be true, because there's a true there. False or true will be true, because there's a true there. False or false will be false, because there's no trues. And the same here, this will be true. And this will be true. So let's just run that and have a look. So that is our three operators. So let's just go through those again. The three, um, we have our comparison operators, which are equals to, um, not equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to. And then we have our three operators, which are not, and and all so knowing that kind of stuff you're now going to actually have a look um oh okay um you can actually combine them too by the way you combine these two together so i just a little bit that i missed down the bottom here for example i can combine an operator a comparison so i'm comparing seven and eight which is going to give me a true value i'm comparing a and well whether a is less than zero, it gives me a billion value. And then I'm going to do a calculation of that billion value. So actually just go through this with debugging. So see it comes here, it will say seven and eight. I'm going to uh, evaluate that and it's going to give me true. It skips over here and it says, right, A and O, that gives true. And because true and true, because they have all of the values are true, it will return a value of true and it will print that true so that's our boolean operators so i'm going to introduce this bit of code that you're going to use to expand on for your actual tasks that you have but let me introduce it to you here because it's introducing some new concepts in total so if i run this code you will see here it brings up a little grid this is zero zero we can tell that it is 800 wide so that would be 400 and that's negative 400 and 600 high, so that's 300 and negative 300. But this is really cool. Turtle on click draw dot. So when it actually I click on this screen, it's going to run the function draw dot. And what draw dot does, it gets the x and y, which is the values of where the actual on screen on screen click is, the x and y values, and it will print the actual numbers down here for us to see. And then it's going to go to that position and make a dot orange dot size 10 at that location let's just see so driver here is it is a little turtle that we've made up um, driver let's be there we are so set up the grid here's a driver pen so drivers down here driver turtle is a little turtle he sets draws up the screen go okay. so if i click here it's orange i click there and it's orange and it's orange it's orange it's orange it's orange because that's what we've got now 
I'm going to show you the first part of this little task here, which is I want you to make it. We're going to see if we can make the, a different color when um, a different color if it's in the lower half of the screen. So that means it was lower half of the screen. I'm just going to bring that screen back up. If it's the lower half of the screen, it means that well, under here, it means that the x value is negative. All right. So before I do the print, I've made the color. I'm going to click in here, and I'm just going to use one of our if statements to change the color of orange. If um, now I need to check the y value is less than zero. What I want to do instead is say dot color equals green. Run here. So now if I run that, so it will normally be orange. It will change it to orange to start with, and then I'll check and see whether the y value is less than zero. If it is, it will make the actual dot color green. Then go to the position and then choose a dot size and then draw the actual dot there. So I'm just going to run you. Come up here. There we are. And it's not happy. I'm going to stop that and run it again. That's much better. Right, so if I click up here, I've still got orange. Click down here, I've now got green. And you can see the actual value because we're printing them out and this is our Y values over here. So if I click up here, you see the next one, Y value is positive. Down here, the Y value is negative. So that's the little condition. So there I am, I'm using an if statement with a Boolean comparison operator to say, if this is true, change the dot color to green. Now you've got three exercises and the three exercises are going to ask you to make three, four different colors all according to what quadrant there are. You will need to use comparisons. You'll also need to use your Boolean operators of AND, OR, or NOT. At least some of them anyway. So, you're right now to go off to exercise one, two, and three, and that's it. We have now done an introductory um, unit into Turtle. You now understand all the different structures within the programming. And from here forth, we're going to start exploring a lot more stuff. Okay. Off you go.